Last week, in the Big God story, we met one of Jacob's sons named Joseph. Pretty happy guy who had an amazing gift for helping people to understand the crazy dreams they had. But things weren't going so well for Joseph last week. Thanks to some jealous brothers, he'd been beaten up and sold as a slave. Off he went to a country named Egypt. Well, once he got there, things didn't get any better for Joseph. He went from being a slave to being in jail for something he didn't even do. Could things get any worse for Joseph? Well, one day, into his prison cell were thrown two very frightened men who had also had weird, strange dreams. Joseph helped them understand what their dreams were going to be about. To the servant, he said, you'll be free. To the baker, he said, I'm sorry, you'll not be leaving this place. They thanked him for helping them understand. What Joseph had said came to pass. The servant was set free, back into the Pharaoh's house, and the baker never left the prison. And so when Pharaoh woke up one night with a weird and strange dream, his servant knew exactly who he should talk to. And so that is how Joseph went from being in jail to meeting with the king of all of Egypt. The king explained his dream to Joseph, and Joseph explained to him what it meant. Joseph said, for seven years, Egypt is going to have an amazing harvest. You'll have more food than you know what to do with. It will be incredible. But after that, seven years are coming when there won't be anything growing. It'll be a drought. It'll be the worst drought Egypt has ever had. What I think you need to do is find someone to manage things to make sure that you save enough during the good years to be able to feed your people during the bad years. The king was so grateful for this information and he agreed with Joseph. Someone special did need to be found and he believed that person was Joseph. Just like that, Joseph, who had been in jail at the start of the day, was now the number two person in the entire kingdom of Egypt. Joseph's story is a powerful reminder that no matter what, God is always in control.